Hello everyone, I hope your studies are going great. Now this is a very quick video to discuss about an alternative calculation of beta under portfolio management CA final SFM. So in general when we calculate beta it is calculated as the covariance of the security with the market upon the variance of the market or the correlation of security with the market into standardization of security upon standardization of market. So this would work. However in a few recent uh, questions institute has used an alternative formula and hence a lot of students ask that when should we use which formula well both of them both of these formulas will give you exactly the same all the three formulas basically will give you exactly the same answer rounded off for a certain degree of approximation and hence any of these formulas ideally could have been used there is no way in which you can predict which formula is used when it is ultimately the same formula and hence any of the formula can be used but if you kind of like to know what the formula kind of means and how to calculate we'll just do a very quick discussion on the same so an alternative working for finding beta can be summation of x into m minus n into x bar into m bar divided by summation of m squared minus n into m bar squared. Now, if we quickly try to understand the mechanics of this formula, ideally, when you look at beta, beta is calculated as a covariance in the numerator divided by variance of the market in the denominator. Covariance is always an interplay between x and the market. And as a result in the numerator, we take x and m, summation of x and m minus n into x bar into m bar. This exact same formula is there in the denominator, but in the denominator, instead of taking covariance of x and the market, we take everything only for the market, but we take variance of the market. So that is standard deviation squared. And as a result, we take summation of m squared. Ideally, it should have been summation of x into m if you want the covariance. However, if it is variance of m only, it is basically summation of m into m and hence it becomes m squared. Summation m squared minus n into ideally it will be x bar into m bar, but because it is variance, it will be summation of m bar, uh, so n into m bar squared only. So basically, if you have to solve using this method, what will you do? You will have a column for x, you will have the column for market. Typically, we used to prepare a column separately for covariance, separately column for uh, variance of the market. Instead, if you want to solve this method, all you have to do is you have the column of x into y or x into m in this case, summation of x into m, you have to do this working and find the summation and then another column will be m squared and take the total. Basically, if you can remember this formula, you can apply these numbers and get the exact same answer with a certain slight degree of approximation which should be accepted. There's no trend, there's no clarity in which method to be used. Institute calls this method that you are solving is calculation using the correlation method. However, it solves this method calling this as the regression method so over here if the question is specifically asking you to follow you a regression method then you take the alternative formula if it is asking correlation method you follow the first formula if nothing is given you can follow either of these two formulas remember uh, i mean you would have done a lot of practice on the standard formula where you prepare x then m summation x minus x bar into m minus m bar then m minus m bar the whole squared etc in the alternative formula again you will need to calculate x bar you will need to calculate m bar but once you do that you apply that in the formula in the numerator it is covariance so that is x and m summation x m minus n into x bar into m bar in the denominator it is like uh, uh, variance of the market so instead of doing x into m everywhere you will do m into m so that is summation m squared minus n into m bar squared just as a derivative over here we have also written what is to be done in covariance so covariance over here the alternative formula for covariance this goes in the numerator over here whereas variance of the market standard division goes in the denominator here so the formula for covariance and the standard division you don't need to separately study i mean you would have done the standard formulas like covariance equals to summation of x minus x bar into m minus m bar divided by n or correlation of x and m into standard deviation x into standard deviation m or the formula where beta x into beta of m or the other security into variance of the market. So these are different ways in which you find covariance. We would have done this formula. Alternatively, you can do summation x m, which is the same as a numerator minus n into x bar into m bar divided by n, which will give you the covariance. Similarly, what is there in the denominator is a variance of the market. If you want to find the standard deviation, you will square root it and divide it by n. So you don't really need to know these alternative formulas for the other two items. However, for beta, if the question asks you calculation using the regression method, just spend a few minutes, try to remember intuitively what this formula seeks to calculate, what are the data points to be used and that should be sufficient. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck and see you.